Pass to Ramos. And he lobs it up. Hey, great communication on the lob. Oh, incredible. Save that one. I want to watch it again. Awesome. And for Utah, they've got Gordon Hayward. And it's Hornacek in at the shooting guard position. Stockton, pass to Hayward. Let's it fly from 18. Yep, that one's good. A staple of Hayward's offensive arsenal. Give him room to fire from there, and he'll take it. It's hauled in by Eaton. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Malone. Yet another possession they've oh, managed Malone. to hold on to. They are really in control on offense. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. the basket. He was fouled and he's going to the line for one more. John Stockton. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for one. Number 23. quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. To the middle. Here's Eaton. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. He took the contact and had an opportunity to drain it. At the line for the Jets. Mark Eaton. Two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Some big guys struggle at the line, not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. And he lobs it up to the rim. So far. Assisting. Into the third. Just two in. minutes in now. Stockton pass to Hornacek. From 18 feet away, they get it back. Malone. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. The rebound by Malone. Malone's got 11 rebounds in the game. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And just not allowing the shooter to get comfortable for mid-range. That's how you play it. Does a good job of getting into the shooter's airspace. VA, I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. Here's Stockton. He's got 12. Pass to Malone. Here's Stockton. From 12 feet. And that one hits the back iron. Utah with the rebound. Malone's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Here's Eaton. 
The layup misses. Down low. Rebound, Utah. Malone's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. Pass to Stockton. Over to the left wing. The Jazz again can't hit. Got a piece of it. It's hauled in by Eaton. Eaton's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. To the paint. Here's Malone. Eight makes out of 15 shots. He's got it going. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Rebounded by the Jazz. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Looking to get back on track. It's hauled in by Eaton. Utah leading. Down low. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Shooting one. Ooh, he's earning his keep offensively, a key part of their winning effort at this point. At the line for the Jazz. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Utah? Wow, they're moving the ball around so well, guys. Quick passes, letting the next guy do the work if you don't have a look. Yeah, they've also worked at pounding the ball inside. It gave them high percentage looks all game, and it's paid off. So it's the home team now. They trail by nine. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. Here's Stockton. He's got 12. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. First personal foul, third team foul. Shooting for Utah. John Stockton taking two shots. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. goes in. Two from the line that time. Clarkson outside. Pass to Smooth. And he lobs it up top! Nice feed inside. Saw the play develop and hit him right when he needed to. On offense, here's Utah. They lead by seven. Stockton, pass to Hayward. Here's Stockton. Jacks up a three. He can't get that one to fall. Inside. Smooth, no good. Here's Kirilenko. Pass to Eaton. And here is Hayward. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Utah. Fourteen feet away, Utah with the rebound. Eaton's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Stockton, pass to Hayward. On the wing, Mitchell. From 10 feet away. And he goes in for the dunk. That
that gives him a double-double. <laughs> Did you guys see that? What an insane Home slam. Team. Man, you got to have some hang time to pull Sorry. that off. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. And that was your dancers. Checked by Mitchell to the middle. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. And he has to build on this because we can see where him being a ghost out there has gotten him so far. Eaton can't hit. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Here's Stockton. No good on the triple. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. No doubt. That's the kind of play that can energize the whole team, and they will take it in a close game like this. The Jazz on offense. They led by as many as 18. Pass to Hayward. Here's Kirilenko. It's tipped. Checked by Mitchell. Count it. Yes. Now just three. a one-point Utah lead. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. But it took them a little while to get there. Just goes to show as long as you persevere, you'll figure your way out. Now here's Hayward. Kirilenko. Oh, somehow misses the one-handed flush. This lead is up for grabs. Yeah, each possession Eight, has an importance. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. Chris, that flush three. was so extra. Whether or not this game you is close, he's the same guy. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basket. Here's Stockton. He's got 14. Eaton passes to Stockton. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Pass to Eaton. Five on the clock. From deep, Mitchell. Smooth grabs the miss. Mitchell's gone just one of five from the floor. Here's Smooth. It's hauled in by Eaton. Eaton's Utah trailing here. To win the drought. Here's Stockton. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Personal foul, fourth team foul. At the line for the Jazz, John Stockton taking two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. To the inside. The shot, no good. Oh, Hayward with some nice D. Pass to Eden. Here's Stockton. Three pointer. Tipped. And it's out of bounds. The Jazz able to retain possession here. We've got 108 left to play in the third quarter. The three from Mitchell. Smooth grabs the miss. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. 
and just not allowing the shooter to get comfortable from mid-range. That's how you play it. Does a good job of getting into the shooter's airspace. Here's Kirilenko. Yet to see a basket. Hayward with it. Down to five on the shot clock. And yep, it's good. Gordon I mean, scoring on all three levels. Gordon Hayward is such a difficult assignment. 27 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Perez. Three-pointer. Rebounded by the Jazz. Stockton's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Eden. Off the mark. That's and we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Jazz out in front. They lead by three. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. It's the fourth quarter. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Here's Stockton. Pass to Hayward. Goes back up. Gobert. Clarkson grabs a miss. Gobert's gone one of three shootings so far. And for Utah, they've got Rudy Gobert. And it's Hayward in at the three. No good there. Off the double clutch. It's stolen by Clarkson. Up and in on the layup. Clarkson's got 19 points. You got to bring more fire than that to stop Clarkson. He's a pro at fending off tight defense. Stockton has to Gobert. Here's Stockton. Hayward outside. Throws it up high. Misses from short range. Just enough resistance to force them as barely. That's one he'll generally make. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your home team. One shot. Just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Here's Stockton. That's to Hornacek. The three is up. Gets the three to fall. And Utah leads by one. Neither team able to take a hold of this game. Yeah, it's a bit of a tight one. Numerous lead changes, very competitive. Defended by Gobert. Utah and there's the foul. Rudy it's on Gobert. Rudy Gobert. First personal foul. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Coming onto the floor for your home team. Number 21. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Brownlee, guarded by Hayward. Just five to shoot. The three. Utah with the rebound. Pass to Boozer. And that one is stuffed right through. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. He's just giving them everything he has. It's why his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with him. Here's Hornacek. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First team foul. 
shooting for Utah. Jeff Hornacek at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He makes the first. one falls so he hits both of them Home and team. they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout on the wrong side of a scoring run here we might see a lineup change I'll, I'll be pretty curious check with Ali from the sideline thanks guys the head coach of the home team had some words for his team over the break and coach had a simple message for their team saying hey we're right there let's start with a stop knock down a couple shots and we'll be up sometimes the best instructions are the basic ones PA great work Ali thanks and we think of Clarkson often as a scorer, but there, making the unselfish pass, just great work. Pass to Stockton. Crafty move. Can't get it to drop. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Tries again. The shot off that time. Good D by Gobert. Utah leading. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. It seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. You aren't exaggerating. You don't get the twin rebound without passing a special talent for grabbing misses. Yeah, offensively, Clarkson has been hot. And you know it's motivating everyone else on his team, too. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. And stolen by Gobert. Here's Boozer. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. Important two points, not just on the scoreboard, but also for a little bit of momentum. Here's Stockton. Boozer passes to Gobert. He can't get it to go. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be. Oh, 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 oh. Nice finish. Man. Right there. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Oh, he missed the layup. He had it with the pump fake. Gobert's gone one of five from the field. Brownlee. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Locking the arc down. Defense knows it's on them to scare off those shots. Here's Hornacek. Pass to Stockton. And another miss by Utah. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. Yeah, that's a good defender making a play. And he does it without foul. They fought so hard to get themselves in a position to win this game. And it's so much easier said than done. But now it's all about keeping that momentum going for them. Now a timeout called by Utah. You look at Jordan Clarkson. What a contribution. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. And it's simple. I mean, when you shoot it like he has, this award is a lock. I mean, up over 60% from the field, that's crazy good. He's given them just about everything he's had today.
The home team on D. Two-point game to the middle. And he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Here he goes. Rebounded by Stockton. Stockton's got eight rebounds in the game. Here's Hayward, and he gets that one. Gordon and Utah leads by two. Not backing down from anyone. Hayward looking determined to score on the intense coverage. Pass to Clarkson. And he's going for the lob. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Here's Stockton to the paint. Oh, a nice one-handed slam right there. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. And Hayward has got the ball here for the Utah Jazz. They led by as many as 18. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Jazz, Carl Malone. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. You look at all the turnovers. Boy, what a way to drive your coach crazy. Yeah, your game plan means nothing if your players can't execute. And it's going to be a three-second call. In three seconds. The ball goes to Utah. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. To the right side. Here's Hornacek. Up again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Home team. And keeping the play alive with his activity. I love the effort. Coach really needs to get his guys fired up in attacking the glass. They're not putting up much of a fight, and it's led to way too many second chance shots. And go, you fit squad! They still have time to make this a game. But they really need to focus in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. Brownlee. He drops it from range. Justin Brownlee. On offense, here's Utah. To the left wing. Here's Eaton. Pass to Hornacek. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Knocks it down from distance. And now it's just a two-point Utah lead. Woo, what an important three. At his height, he can just shoot right game. over the smaller man. Here's Stockton. Let's it go from deep. No good on the shot. There has been nothing for him this quarter. Ever since halftime, he's lost all of his touch. To tie it up. And it's good on the layup. He's got 21. The scoring is coming easy for him. Got to keep the ball in his hands. 143 left to play in the fourth. Inside. 
Here's Eaton. Gets it. He's six for ten and looking confident out there. They get exactly the matchup they want inside, and it gives them the biggest bucket of the game. And he bangs it home with one hand. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. No doubt. That's the kind of play that can energize the whole team. And they will take it in a close game like this. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. 107 left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Clarkson. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. This is who Clarkson is. He just knows how to get buckets, especially in the clutch. And so it's Utah with it. Passed him alone. Blocked! And it's out of bounds. Still Utah's ball. Utah ball. And the Jazz call time here. The score's tied at 99. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 53 seconds left in the game. Basket's good. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Now here's Clarkson, tightly guarded. Money! B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely, even smooth when he's powering it home like that. Got a hand on it. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Jazz call time here. Guys, what do you think? A chance to tie it up here. And you also have to wonder if they'll try for a three. But they'll probably try for a two, but if something opens up outside, I doubt that they will hesitate to take it. Jeff and connect from downtown. Home team. Down low. Kicks it out to Clarkson. Oh, swiped away! And they foul intentionally. Now they're going to have to do that again. They're not in the penalty just yet. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. And so they foul intentionally. Jordan Clarkson. First personal foul. Fourth team foul, corner check. Two shots. Shoot two. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he ends up making the second. And that'll put him up two. Brownlee. Can oh, he count it? Yes, he can. Yeah. That's how you end the quarter. The, Jazz. the winner at the buzzer. It doesn't get any better. Thank you, everyone, for the finish. It takes a to see a knockdown shot like that. And so the home crowd treated to a win. What a performance they have here at home today. I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. 
And that about wraps it up. For the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel. Global Giving 2K. Like, comment, and share to your friends. God bless you.